What in the hell is going on when it comes to Married to Medicine and their former cast members? Well, Buffy Purcell is blasting Dr. Contessa for saying something really, really terrible in a recent interview with Oliver Twist on YouTube. I lost it. I couldn't believe she grabbed my neck and was screaming at me. And she said something really horrible to me. She, you know, was like, get down on the floor and let me rock you like the babies you'll never have. Like y'all didn't, they cut all that out. And is Dr. Contessa, Contessa considering suing Buffy for what she said? Apparently. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So you know we recap Married to Medicine every single week, but apparently the drama happening off the show is more interesting than what's happening on the show. At this point, I wanna know from you guys in the comment section, based on what I'm about to present to you when it comes to Dr. Contessa and Buffy Purcell, I wanna know, do you wanna see them come back next season to hash this out on your reality show? Maybe, maybe not. So as you know, Buffy Purcell was on the on Married to Medicine several seasons ago. One of the reasons why she decided not to return was the horrible thing that Dr. Jackie said during that season, basically calling out Buffy's infertility in front of a group of strangers and on this national reality show. A lot of fans have said, oh, Buffy has never gotten over it. Buffy needs to get over it, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of other people, that was the moment that they saw the real Dr. Jackie Walters. So in a recent interview with uh, Oliver Twist here on YouTube, Buffy opened up about that and so much more. But it was this interesting part of their interview where she claims that Dr. Contessa says, come down here and let me rock you like the babies that you'll never have. Well, then after that, we literally have Dr. Contessa going on social media and blasting Buffy as a liar and threatening to sue her. I lost it. I couldn't believe she grabbed my neck and was screaming at me. And she said something really horrible to me. She, you know, was like, get down on the floor and let me rock you like the babies you'll never have. Like y'all didn't, they cut all that out. Like these women really went for the. Contessa you know, said that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Allegedly. Not allegedly. She said it. There's no alleged. I'm not saying alleged. Shit. This shit happened. I dare a bitch to sue me. I will tear everybody ass up. I didn't say <laughs> no bitch. I could own Bravo. A bitch could own Bravo. Hi, Contessa here. She did not say that. She is a pathological liar, and she asked for the lawsuit. So let's give her one. Fortunately, there were about ten people in that room, and all of them. Yeah, all of them are gonna be called as witnesses in this defamation lawsuit. You don't get to say anything you want, especially when it comes to there was absolutely footage. So challenge accepted. Let's see how rich you really are. And I told her from my heart, an empathetic story about my experience as a woman who lost several children. In one, I actually had fucking bury. So you lying ass bitch. You know where to find me, Chastain Integrative Medicine, and you said, should I sue you based on that dumb Because again, I didn't say it. And if I did say that, everyone would have been like, gasp. Oh my God, who would say some, such a thing? You would have heard it before and they would have played it. So I am going to come Back to who I am, I'm quite sure my husband is going to be furious that I even responded. But when it comes to, I have, I finished medical school in 1998. I am a 100% service connected Navy veteran. I'm a physician. I'm a mother of three live children. But my first child also matters. And I shared that very personal story with you. And for you to take that again, move on with your life, sis. Ain't nobody out here trying to take over. Your life ain't trying to ruin you. And if you didn't get what you needed from Mary to Madison, that has nothing to do with anyone who has ever been a part of that cast. 
Take that up with NBC Universal and Bravo. But don't be out here trying to destroy the rest of us because you didn't get what you needed from whatever you were doing that season. Share your real life. Be whoever the f*** you really are. And literally, if it's interesting, it is. If it's not, it's not. And if you have now decided that this is what I should have been and this is what I should have shown, then oh, sorry. But I did not say that. And y'all, I don't care all this. So Dr. Contessa's reaction to this information is interesting. But I will say this. Based on what I've seen of Buffy, both on the show and off the show and in her career, she has a lot of credibility. The fact that she would tell Oliver that I'm not going to say allegedly, knowing the legal ramifications of saying something like this that you can't back up, I just don't see her saying it. No matter how you feel about Buffy, because I see all the time people say, oh, Buffy needs to just let it go. Why is she always talking about this? Because anytime people interview her, they're going to ask her about her experience on Married to Medicine. But a lot of you said that when you saw this happen on the show, it completely changed your mind about Dr. Jackie Walters. And that has never changed for you. So that information coming out, that video footage with Dr. Jackie and Dr. Heavenly from a, a th three years ago, a lot of you were like, see, we, we've been telling you about Dr. Jackie for a very long time. But the fact that she's saying, that Buffy's saying that this happened with her with another cast member is, first of all, heartbreaking to even hear that they would even say something like that. I just can't, I can't imagine saying that to someone. But also seeing Dr. Contessa's reaction on social media to this, the emotional reaction, because maybe I'm just different. I, I'm not going to say how someone should react to anything. However, me personally, if I know I definitely didn't say anything like that, even if I'm going to address it on social media, even though normally I probably wouldn't, I'd be like, I'm going to address it through my attorney. But even if I do, I'm going to stand 10 toes down in regards to I never said anything like that. And the fact that you want to say something like that, you will be hearing from my attorney. So it went from that to the very emotional reaction that she had. And I'm never going to forget those last two seasons that Dr. Contessa was on Married to Medicine. We saw the downfall of her marriage. And then the following season, she tried to gaslight not just her cast members, but the audience to pretend as if we didn't see that your marriage was on the brink of ending. And then in this next season, you're trying to make it seem like everything is perfect. I was just like, and that's when I was truly done with Dr. Contessa. And I think that was part of the reason why they decided not to bring her back. Of course, budget reasons, they were trying to bring Phaedra this season. So it's hard for me, if I'm going to go by credibility based on what I've seen so far, Buffy has way more credibility on giving the truth versus what Dr. Contessa has given to us in recent years. I would hope that Buffy wouldn't say something like this if it wasn't true. Because if they can, if Dr. Contessa can prove it, then that's one thing. But I do find it hard to believe that the 10 people that may have been in this room, probably production, probably castmates, are going to defend Buffy or confirm what Buffy's saying when she doesn't have a relationship with them. Also, production or the network would not want this information out because Buffy literally says in this interview, let them sue me because... They know I could end up owning Bravo based off of what she's saying and accusing Dr. Contessa of. I'm so mad that Married to Medicine has taken a turn. Like the drama offline is more than interesting than what's happening on the show this season. And no, don't get me wrong. Married to Medicine, I've, I'm enjoying the season. But there are cast members on this season that I'm just like, they're not bringing anything. I saw that Oliver did a recent interview with Audra as well. I need to sit down and watch both interviews because they're both of them are like, it's going to be like four or five hours of my day. But I want to listen to them because you know how much I've been saying I want Audra to come back. But I don't think Audra is going to come back based off the clips that I've seen and her experience on Married to Medicine. So the fact that Audra and, and Buffy are talking about their experience and talking about how and even recently Mariah Huck talking about her experience with the network with production and the cast I'm I'm more in, inclined to believe these three individuals more so than you know the network to be honest with you 
Guys, as always, happy Friday. I want to hear your thoughts on what Buffy had to say. I want your thoughts on Dr. Contessa's rebuttal. Do you believe Dr. Contessa or do you believe Buffy? Let me know in the comment section. As always, you know we do not moderate adults, so allow people a safe space to share their thoughts, no matter which side that they're on. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the lighter, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you, follow my leading.